Halloween here on opening day. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Are you as ready as we are? It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Glad you could join us. Opening night and time for our State Farm lineups. First for the Rockets. Jeremy Lin is out there with Harden. And inside at center from Turkey, one of the best defending big men in the game, seven-footer Omar Ashik. Then there's Chandler Parsons. And it's Robinson in at the four. And then for the Detroit Pistons, Thomas is out there with Rodney Stuckey. And playing at center, the 6'11", big man out of Georgetown. Versatile score, terrific passer, Craig Monroe. Then it's Maggetti, and it's Max Seal in at the four shot. The Rockets, like a number of teams from the West, were able to hold their own and post a good record against the East last season. It wasn't the mark they needed to sneak into the postseason, but they had to have liked how they played against the East. Well, the record for the Rockets against the East. Clark, you're right on the money, 11 and 7. A solid mark for them. And about what they did in terms of how important it is to performance. I'm glad to hear him make that uh, make that a, a admission and, and, and share that with folks. Here's Thomas. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Thomas got his first points of the game. Well, the thing that comes to mind to me is how effective he is around the rim. I mean, he can finish with either hand and finish strong. And he's also a guy, Steve, whose confidence is not very easily shaken. That's an important quality to have. He'll miss a few shots in a row, but they're not going to cause him to doubt himself. Not in the least. Here is Thomas. After Jeremy Lin's bucket, Thomas gets the bucket. Thomas got caught. He told me he's a big fan of six-man winner James Harden, saying he's really one of those right-brain type of players. He just sees the game a little bit differently. It's tough to game plan for him because he can hurt you so many ways. But when he's leading... Shooting like this, I mean, four or five early, and they look focused and locked in. Now here's Lynn. There's the dish to Parsons. Robinson a screen on Maggetti. Shot clock at six. Lynn's shot is off. He got the shot he wanted off that pick, just couldn't get it to fall. Well, Steve, they'll take that play all day long, 10 times out of 10. That was good action. Thomas dishes to Stuckey. Thomas goes in. The monster one-hand slam. What a talented leaper. Loves to climb up and throw it down. Man. Oh, Clark, he gets up so quickly. That yeah, means yeah, like a pogo stick. Oh, my gosh. Not a lot of point guards in the league can jam like he can. That's cool. And he's able to finish, guys, amongst all the big fellas in the paint. Just uh, amazing athleticism. Back to Monroe. Pass to Thomas. Takes the three. Another three for Detroit. Fellas, they are heating up from outside now. Archive that one for the highlight tape. Oh, yeah, that, that is a keeper. You're correct. Man, that was incredible. Yeah, and those plays will give your team a huge boost. And the highlight real replay brought to you by Sprite. Good stuff. Thomas kicks to Maggetti. That's good. And it's Thomas picking up the assist. Maggetti's got it. Couldn't quite make the sustained push. Yep. Their shortcoming made it three straight seasons now without postseason play. Yeah, everything is falling for him now. He hasn't missed a shot this quarter. Adding on to what you were saying, Clark, about the Pistons, the team has been around in one form or another for 70 years now. They've only missed the playoffs 24 times. That's pretty consistent. Yeah, they've brought home three titles uh, since they moved from Fort Wayne to Detroit. Of course, back-to-back -back titles uh, with Isaiah Thomas and the Bad Boys. And then uh, more recently, that group with Chauncey Billups, Rip Hamilton. Uh, so an organization that's rich with tradition. Now, here's Thomas. Chandler Parsons really is so skilled for a player his size, about six. Oh, get it! Oh, oh, oh what the oh, now? Oh. He's definitely showing some real sweet dunk. Where they'll take on the Hawks. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Stuckey kicks to Thomas, and the shot is good. Monroe's got his third rebound on the night. Maggetti the pass to Thomas, and that basket is going to count. Goaltending the official call. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Nope. 
carving them up inside there, Kevin. I mean, the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good offense. Steps back and fires. And again, Isaiah Thomas. Thomas got six here in this quarter. Well, one thing you hear about Kevin McHale with the Rockets, he's never afraid to call out his players. He's totally honest with them. And I think they appreciate that. You know, maybe, maybe a demanding... Tia comes in for Carlos Delfino. And it's Harden in for James Anderson. Not his best quarter. I mean, the shots just haven't fallen for him. Rock that rim. Gotta love that enthusiasm, folks. Not only Clark did he rock the rim, he decided to hang around a bit for that one. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Pistons lead by one. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. And welcome back to the second half of our Halloween broadcast. Isaiah Thomas having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, the points have really come in bunches for him so far, and not really a surprise because you know exactly what he can do. And guys, that's where the Pistons are looking to improve. A bottom five or six defensive team over the last three seasons. If they can get stops, they'll be even more effective getting out in transition. They've got the young legs to fit teams. Uh, just relying on your defense. They've got to get more firepower. Will Bynum has checked in for Jose Calderon. And a change for the Rockets. Lens checked in. Thomas goes in, gets the bucket. Thomas got 29. It's a neck and neck game in Detroit. Left side, Lynn. This is it to Parsons. Good D by Thomas. And that one's good. 13 points for Robinson. Well, what you love about Robinson is you can see the NBA body, even back in his days at Kansas. Great strength and athleticism at that four spot. Yeah, I like how revved up he plays, though. His motor is fantastic. Good. That's the end of the third, and it's all tied up. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Can't hit. The Pistons trailing. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Suns at U.S. Airways Center in Phoenix. That's the first of six played on the road. You know, some good games going on, and uh, that Phoenix game especially is... Lynn's got three assists tonight. Just like they drew it up, fellas. Monroe, the pass to Thomas. Back to Monroe. Feeds it to Calderon. Outside Thomas. Here's the feed to Maggetti. Over Delfino. And there's Maggetti. That's good on the assist by Thomas. Thomas got six assists now in the game. Lynn's got four assists in the game. Thomas kicks to Calderon. Gets the bucket. Calderon's got 4.8. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Kevin McHale address his team. He talked mainly about giving them a different look defensively and dropping more bodies into the paint, saying, listen, they're eating us up on the inside, and we need to do whatever it takes to stop it. Guys, back to you. Oh, good from Delfino. Robinson's got seven rebounds in the game. Thomas against Lane. The second chance points on the tip in. And that's 19 points for Robinson. That's four of their last five buckets now coming in the paint area. And they're in attack mode right now, barreling in there with bad man intention. Thomas kicks to Maxio, and he throws it down with one hand. And that's exactly what you call a high percentage hoop there. He didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this guy's too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. Thomas inside, defended by Lynn, gets the bucket. And it's a six-point piston lead. He's been so valuable for this team with plays like that one. Pistons leading by six. Position out to Maggetti. And the Pistons getting another bucket right there. And so it's the Pistons who come out on top here. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome, but maybe not so much with the margin. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA.
presented by 2K Sports. And now, Jordan presents our player of the game, Isaiah Thomas. 